Welcome to New Gameplay. Today I'm Kyle Hilliard here with Wesley LeBlanc. What's up, Wes? How's it going? I'm excited to check out this uh, Resident Evil game I've never seen. <laughs> no, this isn't Resident Evil, but Resident Wait, Evil what? owes a lot to this game, technically. <laughs> Not this one in particular, but... This is Alone in the Dark, the 2024 game that's ah, coming out. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have the date in front of me. It's coming out March 20th. It was recently delayed. I think it was supposed to come out in... It was actually supposed to come out in 2023 at one point, mm. and then it was January 2024, and then it got pushed back again recently to March. Okay, so still um, soon, though. Yeah, still pretty soon. And is it dead? Yeah, so it does look a lot like Resident Evil. Uh, specifically the recent over the shoulder remakes like two two and three and I guess you, I guess you could throw four in there as well of course yeah um but which is so funny it's very uh, uh Ouroboros like snake eating its own tail <laughs> because this can't be. alone in the dark predated the original Resident Evil the first alone in the dark and it was like one of if not the first game to have like the pre-rendered backgrounds uh, with isometric, isometric camera angles where you had tank controls and you were exploring a mansion. You were exploring a scary mansion and solving puzzles and stuff like that. Um, it's not... I mean, Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil, fully looked at Alone in the Dark and, mm. and kind of said, like, we, we could do this but better and did, ultimately. <laughs> I mean, if we're being honest, yeah. right? I mean... Yeah. There's I, I'm a reason. I'm very familiar with Resident Evil. I am not very familiar with Alone in the Dark. Yeah, and I'm I am somewhat in the same boat. I've always been fully aware of that relationship. You know that Alone in the Dark it was important to the legacy of Resident Evil in a yeah. strange way. Um, but I never played the original. I've never played any of the sequels. Uh, with the exception of the, gosh, is it 2005? Does that sound right? 2004? Hmm. Gosh, what was that? What was that game? Um, let me see. The uh, anyway, there was there was one on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, um, that I have uh, quite a bit of affection for. It was 2008. I was way off. Where it was a 2005 film though, based on the games. Right, right. I never, I did not watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> but the 2008 video game. Really, I, I like I said, I have a soft spot for that game. I have some affection for that game. Uh, it's it's not a particularly good video game mm. <laughs> in a weird way. I wouldn't like go out of my way to recommend it, but it's one of those games that even at the time when I was playing it, I was like, man, they're really trying something here. Like they're yeah. trying to do something different. It was kind of open world, and they had this whole like first person system where you like you arrange your inventory by looking in your jacket pockets and stuff like that. And even though it kind of didn't really come together, I still admired it. I, I was like, good on you, Alone in the Dark 2008, for really trying something different. Um, yeah. So anyway, so that's that's sort of my history with Alone in the Dark, right? I played the 2008 game and I've always known it was important. Is that, are you kind of, like you're even one step uh, back from that, I guess, right? Of just being aware that it exists. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I've, I've, I have heard the name before, but honestly, I think most of my like interest and information I've learned about this game series has happened because of this remake. Like, you know, covering yeah. news and stuff like, oh, they're doing a remake. Okay, let me look into the history real quick. Oh, wow, this is a very storied history and goes back even further than Resident Evil. Um, but it's a series I'd missed, um, mostly because, I mean, even as a Resident Evil fan, I I would say I'm, like, newer. I played the first Resident Evil the year before the uh, 2 remake came out, and that was my first oh, wow. introduction okay. to Resident Evil. And I've been slowly uh, playing all of them. I just have 5 and 6 to do now, but I am. Uh, have played seven village oh the two best yes about yeah. the highlights <laughs> i just i look online and it's like 35 hours and i'm like there's no way i'm, I'm gonna play this game i just don't want to do it yeah hours. i've never i've never made it through six uh, which is telling yeah but um, i just think like you know growing up like i i guess just my parents weren't buying me survival horror games uh probably smart uh to be honest i got nightmares often as a child so i don't blame them um but yeah i'm playing a lot of catch up in the horror uh greats as it were no, that's good. Yeah, and and like, I've actually been uh, kind of, I mean, frankly, excited for this remake because yeah. of all the things we're talking about, because of Alone in the Dark's sort of uh, legacy, 
uh, that that it just it's like sort of underappreciated. You know, it's mm -hmm. um, it's the it's the pub it's player unknowns battlegrounds to Fortnite in a way. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. and and this remake is very very different. I I know you play as Edward Carnby. It was it's always it's been the protagonist many times. He's in the game. Um, he is performed, of course, by the actor from Stranger Things. Um, who's oh, um, uh, Hopper? That guy? Yes. Uh, uh, David that's Harper. not his, his, David Harper. Yes. <laughs> performed Which by Hopper. actually is kind of close Stranger to Hopper. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Um, and Jodie Comer, uh, who's who I've chose to play as. It's a dual protagonist. You can choose who you play as, and the stories kind of go side by side, Resident Evil 2 style. Um, and Jodie Comer is, uh, she was in that uh, Ryan Reynolds film recently where she plays the video game character. Yeah, and she's in, yeah. Um, Free Guy or whatever. Uh, Killing Eve. Yeah, I, I like Jodie Comer a lot. She's 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 always fun. Um, so I was excited to, to, to sort of pick her to play as, even though I like David Harbour as well. Um, but, you know, I, I, I sort of lost my, my tangent that I was going on, but, like... This is this is a lot different. I I think it loosely follows the story of the original, but like you and you are exploring a mansion, but like as is the case here, I'm actually I, I something happened. I was like exploring the mansion, me and David Harbour were hanging out and having a good old time. Yeah, of course. And all of a sudden like the world shifted and I was on these these city streets exploring this location and Jodie Comer's character was very much like what is happening like yeah. she was very confused in a way that it was cool like I, I I like the sort of playing with your sort of perception and and where you're going and like all of a sudden you're in a different place like it's very good uh, stuff for lack of a better term for survival horror in, in this kind of setting it's like yeah we're gonna throw you around like it was weird because the house is more exploratory and like looking around and then those sequences it seems like where you're gonna be suddenly in a new place and confused about what's going on those are a little more actiony that's where you're uh, firing okay. your gun a little more and swinging an axe and stuff like that at least that's my perception of playing I don't know about the first hour yeah give or take of the game that that could shift uh, as, as the game changes and stuff like that. But, this uh, is, hey, look, there's, this there's is David Harbour. and David Harbour, yeah. That's, that's them, yeah. Um, and this so takes place, this, uh, yeah. Yeah, this it, it, like it takes is, place is, is like a different time period? I'm, I'm guessing not modern? Yes. Okay. No, definitely not modern. I'm looking, I have the game's, like, Wikipedia page pulled up because I'm curious if they have the year I'm going to guess, uh, like, that it 1927 takes place. in that David Harbour's character probably says, like, whippersnapper a lot. Yes, yeah, they definitely have that kind of dialogue for sure. Uh, yeah, like uh, accents. Yep, yep, yep. That's that's there, which is kind of fun and interesting. Yeah, it's like yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't play a lot of games in that sort of setting. Honestly, you know? like just looking at this because this is my first time looking at the remake, uh, and maybe this is like shame on me, Resident Evil fans. But like I'm immediately more interested in this than like replaying the first Resident Evil. I think this is. I, I like this time period as like a horror setting, and um, I don't know. This kind of looks like New Orleans, maybe or something. Maybe it's trying to. to the trying city to be like I was in. Do I like New Orleans? Oh I no, mean, I'm saying, sure. is it like New Orleans? Oh, is it like New Orleans? I thought you were asking me like no, on a personal you, level. Also, do you like it? Yeah, Kyle, I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love Infamous too, right? That's a great game, um, and and other games that take place in New Orleans. <laughs> Mafia Three? Is that another one? Yeah, yeah. The, that's, I've and, never uh, been in New Orleans. Red Dead Redemption so 2 has their uh, f fake New Orleans, but still. There cool. you go, yeah. I Actually, I don't think the the mansion, because I'm back in mansion exploring mode. Yeah. I don't think that's in New Orleans, but that section of the game where I got pulled into another world, um, that that felt very New Orleans-esque. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this looks uh, cool. Like, I'm, I'm digging the vibes a lot of the uh, yeah. setting and time. It period. has... I will say it has, and this is, I mean, this, I guess this will come off as negative, um, but I mean, it does have a bit of like a double A feeling to it, mm. if, if that makes sense. It's, I, I, it's, there's, there's like some, you know, budgetary restrictions here and there, and like, there are some, there's like some, a little bit of looseness to the controls that I don't, I don't love, and things like that, but like, yeah, yeah. I, I am I am sort of engaged uh, early on, um, be, and it, I could attribute it maybe to like me wanting to know about more about Alone in the Dark. I've always wanted kind of an excuse to play yeah. those games, and maybe that's like pulling me along quite a bit. Um, I feel like horror I, kind I, of gets a 
past maybe isn't the right word, but like I'm oh like even in movies I'm okay with horror being a little more like double A or like lower budget or more yeah. sloppy. Like it doesn't it kind of fits the vibe of what horror is like uh, in different it's, ways. It's especially in video games. It's more it's more mood. You yeah. know, and I feel mm-hmm. like this game has good mood. I, I, I don't, I don't share this full conversation. I, I cut us away from uh, meeting this character, but I did want to show her just to kind of show, you know, give you a sense of the vibe of the kind of characters you're running into in this mansion. You know, yeah, of course, that's Ruth, Emily Hartley. Ruth Tallard. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm Emily. That's Jody Coleman. Oh. That's, this is Ruth. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying. Dress. Yeah, I was just naming your character in case people forgot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and this, like, this is coming up here. I believe it's right here. This is like. A, a moment that I kind of like in horror games, that Alone in the Dark seems to be doing well so uh, far, yes. right? Where yeah. it's like oh, reality ooh. is shifting, and, and, and your character is just like, I, I don't know what's going on. Why is this suddenly happening? What does it mean? Um, and that's cool. Like I like this kind of stuff. This is the kind of stuff that Resident Evil doesn't really do, frankly. You know, you, yeah, you're not really no. shifting reality in, in Resident Evil. Resident Evil despite sort of its absurdity is fair it's fairly grounded like it does have an established sort of fiction and world yeah like it's all happening uh, because of like a virus and stuff like there's not really yes. much paranormal happening in the world of resident evil yeah where this this is like unexplained weird mystical stuff is happening and you're not and you're not sure why and that's that is a fun position to be in in a video yeah. game for me i i like i like feeling that way in a video game I want someone to make a horror game where the character reacts hyper realistically because you know if I went to like pull a doorknob and then all of a sudden I'm in a burning room with crows I'm not moving I'm terrified I'm probably peeing myself like there's a lot going on and and <laughs> horror games never show that give me give me the real horror protagonist Yeah Emily is very confident she's just like huh this uh, why this room looks different it's now a little hot I, what's in here? going on here? Mm. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. This reminds me of... Yeah. Uh, I have Batman on the brain because I've been thinking about replaying Arkham, but it reminds me of Poison Ivy's botany God. area in the asylum. Is that, like a dise- is that a disease that's, like, infecting the industry? Because I've been replaying <laughs> Arkham City and Night, and, like, yeah. I feel like I've... I guess, but you know, it's probably Suicide Squad on the on the cards. And, but, yeah, no, but this is Alone in the Dark. We're not here to talk about no, Batman. No, no. <laughs> Forget Batman. Batman would not do well in a situation like this, of course. <laughs> Batman, actually, he would. He would be. Uh, if, I mean, Arkham, Arkham Asylum is <laughs> basically yeah, this. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, this woman's burying a dead cat. You know, I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Who knows no. what's happening there? It's a little cigar break. What are you doing, sneaking That's away? right. Yeah, Emily You're like smokes all the time, out. which is another like uh, very much of the era. She's yeah. like smoking indoors and taking cigarette breaks all the time. It's like if if she lived in the modern age, we'd be like, you should quit. Yeah, like, go, this go is outside, getting... please. Yeah, and then also just stop smoking. Yeah, that's what we would say. Yeah, <laughs> turns out it's bad for you. You'll find out yeah. in like twenty years. Exactly. But um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I just, I just wanted to show off some of the some of the gameplay, right? Like, I just wanted to show what the game is, and. I, and frankly, share some, some, you know, tentative excitement for it. It's always tough, like I said, with, you know, with, I I don't know, I feel like, I don't love the term, like, double A, yeah. but there's definitely, like, a feeling of games like that, and they can go either way. It, it's a bummer, because there, there's, like, it's a very, you know, they are very on the fence in that way, in that, like, they can fall one way, where it's, like, you just love it and accept it for all its quirks and strangeness and it really sings for you and it becomes uh like these these games that become especially special to you yeah um but they but they can also fall the other way where there's just shortcomings that you can't get over and i don't know which way alone the dark is gonna fall like i i'm not sure i'm not gonna make that call after only playing like an hour or so but i mean there's a lot of things that I have been enjoying about it, right? Like I like exploring. I like uh, there's there's I they've they they've uh, requested in exchange for us being able to showcase the game like this that I not show explicit solutions. So you'll see some cutting here for solving a puzzle. But I like solving weird little puzzles, um, and then I like being sort of inexplicably thrown into like bizarre new areas w- mm-hmm. without understanding what's going on. Like all that stuff 
it, it so far is working for me, and I'm very curious to see what the full experience is like, if that makes sense. Like, I, yeah, I hope sure. that these these handful of delays, my hope for for those kinds of delays, you never, I'm not going to speculate on why a game is delayed, but the best case scenario is like, you know, they the developers are a, a, a huge portion through the game, and they're like, you know what? We have something special here. I think I think if we give it a little more time in the oven, we can really, you know, get this thing out the door in, in, a, in a high quality way. We just need a little more time, rather than the alternate of being like, this thing's a disaster and we just have to get it yeah. at least working to ship. You yeah, know? I'm hopeful for the former, um, because I I really I want Alone in the Dark to get its sort of time uh, in the spotlight because it's I. It, it it is undeniably been overshadowed by Resident Evil in a big way, mm-hmm. um, but it's but it's an important uh, series. It's an important game to survival horror, and I and I I'm grateful to have. Oh, let me grab this dead cat real quick, Wes. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, no, uh, I, I was gonna I was gonna um, mention that. Like, don't forget the yeah. mummified <laughs> yeah. cat. But I'm I'm grateful to have a contemporary excuse to sort of see what this game was to a certain degree. Like, obviously, yeah. this is very different from the original. Um, but that's, a, I, that's that's okay, you know. It's a good time for it too because um, its biggest competitor, you know, Resident Evil, has moved away from this format of games, at least in new releases. You know, they're doing the remakes and stuff, but even the remakes now that we've gotten to four are more actiony and not exploratory like this. And then the modern games are these first-person shooters, basically. So um, it's cool to like have like a Alone in the Dark is returning, and it's kind of returning to the roots of where this genre started. Um, yeah and yeah i'm i'm this is on my radar for sure now like i'm i, I want to check this out i'm i'm like lo- liking everything i'm seeing yeah i i am i am definitely hopeful for it but um also in a you know we'll see kind of yeah. mode if that yeah, makes sense of course. uh but yeah so alone in the dark it's coming to playstation 5 and xbox series x s uh not ps4 not uh, xbox one uh it's also coming to pc and it's coming out march 20th uh, but yeah, Wes, thanks for checking out the game with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me on. <laughs>